What is very good with a family run business, it's human. We are a human chain. That's what the guests like, it's family. It's not a lot of uh, people on the board which have no love for the group, for us and for the guests, I think that's really important. The experience that you can provide your guests is, is essential and the storytelling is essential and leading hotels has probably the best stories to tell. I think it's an, a huge privilege and honor to be part of a family-run business. It gives you a role, it gives you an identity, it gives you a passion. The passion, the passion that goes to generation in generation. We love it and I think we are born to do this kind of activity. I learned from my father as well as my mother, especially in the hospitality business, that you need to be passionate about what you're doing. You're continuing a legacy. We've seen our parents work as hard today as they did 60 years ago, if not harder. Actually, I'm the third generation. My grandfather uh, started to work at the property in 1938. 1935. 1934. Everything started in uh, 1834. My grandfather moved to Charleston looking for a new life. He purchased some property and uh, took it from there. This was my family summer house. I always knew that I had this hotel in the family and that at some point, you know, someone needed to look after it. My husband was passionate about the hotel business and he and I got married and um, we were very young and I said I'd help him and so I did. I stayed in the kitchen, he stood in the front and that's how we started. And uh, it took me about 15 years to get out of the kitchen. <laughs> when I was a kid, I loved working, working, yeah? Being on the reception and handing out the keys to guests. So this was my first contact with guests and the hotel. The style of management, the style of the hotel remains the same. And I think that also attracts uh, our guests because they enjoy a so, sort of heaven of peace where the things remain the same in this fast-moving world. Uh, they can enjoy the same welcome as they enjoyed over generations. Our number one priority is to take care of our guests. If we take care of our guests, everything else will follow. Everything else will flourish. Our guests feel like they're a guest in an old home. There's a really huge difference between us, a family business, and the multinationals. And it has to do with the way we, uh, we approach the guests. It's like you're having a guest at your house. And we are so proud of that because to compete against giants, you know, is not easy. You can't compete financially in the marketing, advertising, things like that, but you can certainly compete in service because people remember how you made them feel. Making people happy is our objective. Uh, it's a beautiful job. At the end of the day, we are relating to customers and they, 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 they give us their, their, they open their heart to us very often. We try to remain very intimate in our approach. They now call it CRM, which is uh, knowing your customer. My mother was doing CRM and writing handwritten notes and going back to being 14. I remember her having an index. We'd know Mr. Jones was coming. He had a wife. He liked whiskey. We knew exactly every guest, their preferences, what they liked, what they didn't like. That's how it began. Our staff are very much part of our family. Everyone has a role in delivering on the guest experience. So, so we try and empower our staff as well, you know, to try and keep on creating the wow factor. It's not just an employee, yeah? Especially talking about our general managers. He's not an employee. For me, he's part of the family and um, I just couldn't imagine the hotel without him. The staff is all local and they all remain a long time. I would say the average is probably 10 to 15 years that people have been here. We've even got people that have been two generations. We've had fathers and sons. I'm astounded by how much people care and, and how they will go out of their way to, um, to make someone happy. And for example, some guests become tremendous good friends of our staff. We have to be able to craft experiences that are different from the other hotels in a way that people will want to tell these stories when they go back home. And this is what stays when you travel. Every morning at the breakfast table, when the kids were growing up, we would talk about business, what's going on. So they were, they were exposed to it continuously. And uh, they just jumped in the business with both feet and improved on the business because they uh, always told us what we were doing wrong. So, <laughs> you know. <laughs> it's not always expected that you will have family members that follow you in. To this industry. Um, you can imagine therefore my pride that uh, one of my sons 
did. All children copy their parents, and when you've got someone like Patrick, you, you copy that. I've been working with my father now nine years. He's one of the best guys that I could learn from, and we're quite proud to be able to work together. It's, it's easy to work with them, so we are all evolving together. Now we're working for the next generation. 